You know, I don't want to be that guy. I don't like that guy. That guy is a guy who, no matter what the team does, always wants to find something to critique, something to be critical of, uh, and wants to run somebody down. But after this win against Baylor, 56-50, to which, hey, I'm glad we got one. We need a win after two losses. Um, Texas fans, it, it, it still, still didn't feel great. And mainly because I, along with many of the Longhorns fans, I think we got our hopes up a little too much after watching this team play uh, the first four games of the season. Um, even, even in the West Virginia game, I think even after that, I was still pretty high on this ball club. And then it, last week has really taken it down a little bit. And I think we've wanted to see a bit more improvement, especially on defense. Uh, we didn't really get that tonight against Baylor. Now, I know that Baylor has a good offense. Nick Florence is good. He's got a lot of weapons. Art Browse is a great coach. Um, but... Watching a team like Baylor come into Austin and have their way offensively. I mean, I know we had our now offense on our side was fine. Uh, Bergeron had five touchdowns, 117 yards, uh, you know, fancy player of the century. Um, offense was fine, but, I mean, Baylor's defense is awful. Um, you know, when we played against Oklahoma, we couldn't do anything on offense. But for our def on the defensive side, just to watch uh, them go up and down the field on us, mainly for the first half, um, was really embarrassing after a while. And I was really hoping, and, and I think it really showed us something, because against West Virginia, we had the excuse of Geno Smith, Heisman front runner. they're coming into DKR, we just try to get off the field as much as possible and give our offense a shot. Against Oklahoma, hey, they're Oklahoma. They're, they're legit. They, they killed us, whatever, they, and demoralized us. Um, but after being embarrassed against OU last week in Dallas, um, you, all you heard from the guys, and it was the right thing, especially on defense. You know, they got to play better. They're going to be fired up and everything. And they were fired up, and they did try hard. And they did play a little bit better. Still couldn't really stop anybody. Um, and I think that really speaks to the coaching. It speaks to just the, really the talent level. Um, just not being very good. Now, they fought, now, the thing is, it wasn't all bad. The second half, forced some turnovers, got a couple of stops. Got us, you know, we won the game. Um, but it's just... The defense, you look at it, and I've said this before on this thing, you know, people say, hey, these are great offenses they're playing. That's true. But here's the problem with that. Oklahoma State, West Virginia, Oklahoma, and Baylor, they all have a similarity. That is that they're all in the Big 12 Conference. We're going to play these guys every year. So, yeah, they're good offenses. You need to scheme to stop those offenses if you want to compete. Because at Texas, it's not about just trying to make a bowl game. It is right now because that's what we have to take because that's the kind of group we have right now. But you want to achieve more. You want to be competing for that conference title. And to do that, you're going to have to be able to stop or at least contain those offenses. I'm happy for the win. I felt, especially with the offense, I mean, the offensive line, I, I'm really impressed the offensive line. They took to note and they fired off the ball and blew Baylor off the football. Running backs played good. Ash had, Ash had some good throws. He had some bad ones too. That was, I mean, those will be fixed, but got to work on that. Um, but, I mean, offensively it was fine. We dropped 56. You can't really, I mean, when you drop 56, I don't care who it is, you should win that game. Um, and, de like I said, defense played better in the second half. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's not nowhere close to where it needs to be. So, next week is Kansas. You lose to Kansas, then they probably need to burn the stadium down. Um, but, uh, you know, you need to take where you can get at this point. Because, uh, you know, you got Texas Tech and TCU coming up. Uh, neither of those are gimme wins, especially Tech, you know, on the road. Um, and then that, t you know, that TCU freshman quarterback still looks pretty good. So him coming on Thanksgiving night, we'll see how that works. And then, of course, <laughs> you've got uh, Colin Klein and the um, Kansas State Wildcats just waiting for us in Manhattan. And, of course, the Horns never have a problem with Kansas State. You know, that'll be fun at the end of the year. So hook them, Horns, Texas fight, got the victory, but got a lot of things to work on. So see you guys later.